Hello there. This is Condor K. Back again with Let's DFO 5. It's been quite a while. I say that I think every single time I go on like a two day leave or however long it is. Anyway, a lot's changed in DFO since then. Uh, the events that were up, like the level up event that I was doing and all that, ended. And now they have new events. Uh, oh, also, I am not playing as my Nail Mage right now. This is actually another of my favorite characters. Like, I just started uh, playing with this one for a very specific reason. As I stated before, uh, or at least, I don't know, but every month they have like a item of the month thing where you can uh, buy a uh, outfit for your character. As you can see, that's how they look. Um, quite a few of them anyway. Uh, and normally, these kinds of things, you know, like clothes for your character cost real money. Uh, but these don't. Uh, they cost game money. However, they are limited. You can only keep them for a certain amount of time. I think mine runs out in like a week or something. Uh, let's see. Ten days, ten days. Uh, but the game has a system in place called the mileage system, where you can get mileage points from doing various things, and once you get those, uh, you can buy like extensions to make the avatar stuff permanent. Of course, since this stuff is given for you know, just an event. It doesn't really do anything, it just looks cool. Uh, and I chose my to play as my gunner a lot, mainly because I really like the outfit for the gunner. All of the other stuff looks cool too. Anyway, let's continue running through what's different. Uh, I got some mail. Not sure what these coins are for yet. I've been getting them for forever, don't care. And this, that's a mileage point thing I was talking about, a mileage pouch. Let's see how much mileage is in it. Uh, that use, right? Why can't I open it? Maybe I can open it in here. Uh, oh well. I'll open it in a bit. The other thing you notice is my character is level 40. She is now my highest level character because I can't stop playing this, eh? Um, and I am also in a new location. Uh, where I was in my last videos was Sewer, which is to my left. Uh, where I've been with my gunner for uh, forever was down here. Where uh, Castaway is. I don't think I did any Castaway on a recording. And where I am now is a place called Behemoth. Which is to go through the harbor to get there. Uh, if you played DFO before, you should, like, before it went away, you should know about a location called Sky Tower, which was a giant tower in the sky. Duh. Um, it's been destroyed because of some events, and these dungeons take place, like, in its ruins, which is pretty cool, actually. Anyway. Uh, oh, man, I can open the thing now. The pouch. Where is it? Oh, it's available for use after June 9th. Of course, I can't use it. Wow, I'm freaking blind. Uh, anyway. Another event is this. Every day that you log on to uh, DFL, uh, you get something for doing it. As you can see, I've been, every single day, I've been attending so far. You know, and they've all been very useful things. Uh, AXP potions, life tokens, mileage things, Kaleido boxes, which after my sister Shadowstar told me about them. Super useful, I actually really like them now. Uh, I never used them before because I had no idea what they were for. Um, Alright, so that's the introduction to what I've been doing, I think. Or at least what DFO is up to right now. Also, there's been a line of quests that I completed called the Dungeon Balls, as you see right here. Which, uh, this guy, Siren, gives you a series of quests that results in you getting ball pieces, and use those pieces to make a ball, then you upgrade the ball, and I have the, I have the final ball right here, it's called The Ball, 
and it just like as long as you have it down there on your quick equipment bar, it uh it boosts your stats, makes you stronger. It's pretty useful. I like it. I finished the quest anyway, but I can still take on his quest to save up ball pieces for something else. Not sure what. So and here they are. They're pretty simple quests. I'm like most of the quests just kill this many monsters. No, 100 normal monsters, 15 named monsters, 3 boss monsters, get S rank, and uh, use 20 clear cubes. How about that last one? Which, wow, this is a lot of game related stuff I'm actually talking about this time. Uh, as you level up, you gain more and more powerful skills, makes sense. And the strongest skills require things called clear cube fragments to be used. I have two skills right now that require clear cube fragments, at least one every time that you use them. One is FM92 at Mark II Lancer, and another is, wait, Mark II. And another is the Quantum Bomb. They each require at least one clear cube fragment. And that quest basically means use those moves a combination of 20 times in one dungeon. Okay, so these are the dungeons that I've been using like crazy to train and, and complete quests. Uh, I don't like shark habitat because the sharks you fight float around and they're really hard to hit. I prefer the Reef of Disgrace. So let's go there and show off my awesome gunner character. Level 40, yo. <laughs> That's unbearable. Yeah, people, uh, I recognized this place instantly when I started here, uh, the other day. I'm like, oh my god, this is, this is Sky Tower. But the description says it is, but, like, I got it clear, it's literally like a flooded Sky Tower, it's pretty awesome. And those are ducks wearing, like, military gear and shooting harpoons at me. I always thought that was funny. Oh, that one's a snipe duck. Some of the enemy attacks in here are a little annoying because they stun you for so long. I really do like how on topic I'm being though, shit. Like I'm actually talking about the game today. Uh, for anyone who's interested. Which I say, it's a very, it's a fun game. It's a shit ton of fun. Shit, 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 shit. Missed. Oh no, wait, yeah, I did. Damn it. Burn! Alright, so, like, beyond, what's that do? Oh, all my stats. Cool. So, beyond what I've been doing currently in the game, which I've hit a wall. I guess, you know, I'm doing this dungeon in easy. I don't know if you saw me uh, select easy, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of these dungeons on easy simply because oh shit I'm not doing what I said I was gonna do. And that's just the next quest requiring me to do them on hard. And they are very hard. Like on normal I have a tough time. So I'm not really looking forward to doing them on hard, but both the quests that I have for the Reef of Disgrace and the uh, the first dungeon require you to do it on hard. God, no! Silent, no! No! Oh, sleep again. Damn it. Plus, if you look at my uh, item bar down there, that uh, you see the uh, EXP potion next to the ball, I'm gonna use that, like, when I get to the boss. Okay, so I think that was four, so this is. Five, and this is six. I have to use those moves a combination of 20 times to complete a quest. This seems like a waste, but uh, I have like 2,400 clear cube fragments. 20 is nothing, alright? Like it, I'm not. I don't even know why I have to explain myself to you. Uh, okay, waiting for them to load up again. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that's eight. I hope I'm counting correctly. I actually am not too familiar with the music for these dungeons, let alone some of the last dungeons in Castaway, because I've been listening to Spotify like crazy. So that's been my music, uh, my music tracks for this whole thing. And that's ten. Ah, no! Alright, so I wanted to talk about something, uh, a little bit, uh, like, not on topic, but, uh, you know essentially what I'm doing in DFO. I don't think I need to hit on it too much more. Uh, but I do want to talk about Fire Emblem again. Reason being, uh, I don't, I'm not subscribed to Game Explain. I don't know if you know what that channel is. Uh, nothing really negative. Is there's no real negative reason that, uh, okay, there's a few, but uh, it's not important. Basically, I'm not subscribed to them, that's all I'm trying to say. Uh, and, uh, but I do every once in a while check their channel, see if they have any interesting discussions up, anything cool that I might want to listen to, oh uh, shit, was that 12? Um, and, uh, recently, and by recently I mean I think today, they uploaded their discussion on, uh, Fire Emblem, uh, the, the Fire Emblem Cross Shinigami Tensei project game thing that was announced at the April Direct that we all saw, that's 14. And uh, they, they were talking about it, whatever, whatever. And of course, like, the one thing that bugs me about the Game Explained guys is that they don't, they're not, like, in unison, they're not all burst on many different game topics. So it really sounds like it's, you shouldn't listen to them for good opinions or, li or 16. What I'm trying to say is, whenever they talk about Fire Emblem, it's painfully obvious that most of them have no clue what they're talking about. And like the one guy who's played it, and like the one Fire Emblem game they've all played it with me and did not even finish. And it kind of annoys me that they have discussions about it when they know so little. It probably shouldn't, but it does. Uh, part of the reason why I'm not subscribed to them. But I still listen to their discussions simply because I'm interested. And at the very least, I guess because of that, they're not. They don't have any. It doesn't look like they have any negative opinions of a Shimagat to Cross Fire Emblem. Which I will say. I was expecting it to be something completely different, which I think a lot of people were, which is why the reaction to a trivia was uh, what it was. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting a literal crossover of the cast of Fire Emblem games and the cast of Shin Megami Tensei games, like, needing to do something. And that's not what it is, and a lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't what it is, but I wasn't. Uh, well, I was a little bit. The reason I was disappointed was because I love the Fire Emblem characters. I'm like, I was thinking about what if they could all meet, you know, what would they talk about? It'd be so awesome. But at the same time, there's a problem that a lot of crossover games have in the in the real world. Like, I'm not even kidding. A lot of crossover games, like, the reason that the universes are crossing over are just so arbitrary and dumb. And, like, the situation, it just doesn't feel... A lot of crossover games don't feel like it's like they're just they're just excuses to get the characters together and have them together. They don't do anything mind blowing with it as most fans would want them to do. And it's a little it's a little disheartening. Like I love Smash Brothers, but the thing is that is what Smash Brothers is. This is a crossover game where you just fight as a character. That's completely what it's been what it's supposed to be. Other crossover games, like, they have this potential for doing amazing stories or just c cool things with all these cool characters now meeting for the first time ever and probably never gonna meet again after that. And they don't use it. They don't, they don't use it. So, when it was revealed that Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem was not really, like, a crossover, so to say, and was more of a like a combination of game concepts or something like that. I was not too disappointed. Oh, uh, this guy's a douchebag. Um. God damn it. I was not disappointed, honestly. I mean, okay, that's a lie. I was a little bit, but not like. I wasn't upset. I wasn't angry. I was just, oh, it's not. I'm not gonna see my favorite Fire Emblem characters talking to each other. But. I'm still really interested in seeing what this game will bring to the table. And 
and that's just, that's where it ends for me, you know? Like, I'm interested in the game simply because it is actually something new and different. It's not a Fire Emblem game, it's not a Shin Megami Tensei game, it's a, it's a new game that uses elements from both games, to some extent. And, uh, that's it. I do wish that there was more Fire Emblem in there, but I think at the same time there's really no- I mean, I don't- All we have to go on is the one trailer for the Nintendo Direct, which I've seen way more times than I'd care to admit. But, uh, it's just- that's all we have to go on, so we can't really say I wish there was more of this in the game, or I wish there was more of this in the game, since we don't know what the full extent of anything is, because the game's not out yet. I really hope it releases this year that I want to play it. Like, really bad. I'm really interested in it. Huh? Oh. There's a, uh, repeat quest, uh, which I, this is the first time I've ever seen one, right here. Uh, and it, uh, basically, uh, you repeat the quest. Like, you can, after you complete the first time, you can repeat it as many times as you want to get the award, which is a pot with an accessory that can be between level 35 and 40. Nothing special, but... Or at the very least, I say nothing special, but it could very well be something very special. Just isn't. Alright, let's, uh, dismantle some stuff I'm not using. Like this, 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 this. It's just everything. You could trade a bunch of this, you can trade, like, between your characters, so if I wanted to give a special really cool sword to my slayer, I could, uh, mail it to him, but, like, it's level locked to, like, 40 or whatever, uh, whatever I pick it up at, right? So, there's really no point, because by the time my character gets to 40, I'll probably already pick up another good weapon, so I just, I don't get it. So, so I don't do it, I don't do it, that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, let's try, I guess. I gotta get to hard someday. Might as well do it now. Yeah. So, yeah. That's all I want to say about Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Home. Just, I want to talk about it again simply because Gang explained the discussion on it. It's kind of in my head. I am really excited and I am buying the game. Like, ASAP. Of course, but at first I want my Robin and Lucina amiibos. I only have the Shulk one. Which, uh, you know, I'm glad that I have it, considering how rare it apparently is, but, uh, yeah. Seriously, though, like, I don't want to see that trailer. Me and my sister, Shadowstar, we watched it, like, I don't even know how many times. Many times, many times between the two of us, and we talked about it for like hours on end. Just like the, uh, like I said this, I'm pretty sure I said this in the, uh, in the, like, in my first DFO thing where I talked, where I like hit on many, many things that happened while I was gone, and I like gave some of my thoughts on everything. Uh, but yeah, like, just like the Batman vs. Superman trailer and everything, we watched the and talked about it just so damn much. But we're excited and I can't wait I can't wait for the game. Honestly. Oh no 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 Oh this guy's a dude she poisons you with his harpoons. And oh he didn't poison me with that one. Lucky And that missed. No, damn it, that one got me. Shit. I've never been able to beat this guy without getting poisoned. Plast Tipper. It's a douche. But that's an example of an A monster, in case you're wondering. I said the V15 A monsters. Uh, 
No! Jeez, that attack is annoying. Also, I had... Uh, wait, man, I... I you know, the reason I blew through Castaway so quickly with my gunner, which I know, you know, means nothing since you didn't see it, but it's because I was teamed up with Shadowstone and she was playing as a level 50-something character while I was level 35 or whatever. So we were just destroying those dungeons, it was awesome. Some of the most fun I ever had in this game is being overpowered. Or having an overpowered ally. God damn it. Die! Okay, so I really don't like the boss, and with more HP, I'm not gonna like him anymore. Seriously, these people are so frustrating. I hope you can see why I don't want to do this on hard. This is just medium and they're all being little bitches, so... He has a habit of dodging my big moves too. Stupid way that he moves around. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Die! There you go. I really don't like that guy. It's very, very frustrating. I don't even know what his name is. I think I've beaten him like 80 million times now. And I still don't know what his name is. I didn't really pay attention. Anyone catch it? Tell me in the future. Alright. I leveled up and I got new quests. So, uh oh, you know what that means. I probably unlocked a new area, right? You have unlocked Reef of Disgrace Hard. And I am assuming a new area. Do I have that my witch thing? Yes, I do. Uh, where is the enchanted there? Oh, okay. Yeah. And these like are daily events that you can, uh, daily uh, prizes you can get just by completing dungeons that are on your level. Like, uh, see, since I'm level 41 now, uh, both these dungeons are on. All three of these dungeons are on my level. Well, actually, no. If I go back to Shark Habitat Turban, I will not get any points for that event, because I'm level 41. I do have access to the Forbidden Shrine now, though. That's a dungeon I've never been to before, so we can check it out together. But first, I should pick up some new quests that have apparently popped up. Disaster and a Goddess Temple. Okay. Seems like some messed up stuff's going down in there. Uh, for people who have experience with uh, uh, Dungeon Fighter, uh, this, these people are members of the GBL uh, sect, religious cult, whatever. 
Um, they're, uh, it's a good thing, I think, but I remember fighting and killing a shit ton of them before the re re release of the game, so I assume that, uh, the ones I was killing back in the day were just, like, demented, lost ones, you know, corrupt ones. I'm pretty sure that was it. You know, I put this quest on again, just because... Oh, it only works on the Reef of Disgrace? Mm. You know, yeah, once more, why not? I might pick up this one. Like, sorry for going quiet, but I want to read this. This is the first time getting these. Okay. Medium. I don't- I, I can't. I need to beat her on easy first, you douchebag. Alright, let's go do that. That's just a little up. I got more skill points that I can use on my skills. Oh, look all my really awesome shit. It's the first character that I have that actually filled out their hotkeys bar. I'm gonna have to learn how to do some of these quickly and uh, so I can get them out of there and in the future put some of the better skills I'll probably get down there instead. Alright. You know what? Let's end this episode right now and then we'll do uh, we'll go to the Forbidden Shrine in the next one. Alright, so see you then.